In this presentation, we will learn how to measure the temperature using the device called as thermometer. We already learned that heat is a thermal energy which always flows from the warmer objects to the cooler objects. So, heat is nothing but the flow of thermal energy from one object to another. So, when you consider in this image, when you place a hot water cup on your palm, your palm will get warmer because the heat flows from the cup to your palm. Whereas in the other case, when you place an ice on your palm, since your palm is at higher temperature, the heat will flow from your hand to the ice and ice will start melting and you will feel chill because your hand will lose heat to the ice and ice gets warmer while hand gets cooler. So, all these concepts we learnt in our previous videos. So, we can define that heat is a thermal energy moving from a warmer object to the cooler object trying to reach a thermodynamic equilibrium or can also be termed as thermal equilibrium. So, we also know that thermal energy is nothing but the heat energy is a total kinetic energy of all the particles whereas temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the individual each particle of the substance. So, we know that when a body is at a higher temperature the kinetic energy of the molecules will be more and when you find the total kinetic energy then we are finding out what is the heat and when you are finding the average kinetic energy then it is the temperature that we are actually measuring. So, we use a device called thermometer to measure the temperature. So, what is thermo? Thermo means heat and meter means is to measure. So, thermometer means a instrument used to measure temperature. So, how does it work? It works mainly with the principle that liquids will expand or change in volume depending on the temperature. That is, it will expand when there is an increase in temperature and it will contract when there is a decrease in temperature. So, the liquids expand on heating and contract on cooling is the main principle of the working of a thermometer. We also know that thermometer is filled with a liquid either with a mercury or with alcohol. So, it contains a glass tube, a very hard glass tube in which there will be a bulb as you see here. Mercury is a liquid which is filled and we call that liquid as thermometric liquid. So, we generally use mercury and we also use alcohol uh, when, uh, in whenever we have to measure a very low temperature. So, thermometric liquid is a liquid which is used in a thermometer which is used to measure the temperature and the basic principle that uh, helps the thermometer to work is that liquids that is the mercury or the alcohol which is filled in the thermometer will expand and there will be a rise in the level of mercury inside the capillary tube of the thermometer and there will, it will contract, it will fall in its level when there is a decrease in the temperature. So, when you consider the basic working principle of a thermometer, we should understand a special law called a zeroth law of thermodynamics. Of course, this is not in your book, but it is just an important concept that you should know. So, when a thermometer is just inserted in a fluid, say let us label that fluid or the liquid in which it is immersed as A and the bulb of the thermometer as B, let us label them as, uh, label it as B and the mercury which is inside that bulb as C, right. So, A is the liquid and B is the glass and C is the mercury, right. So, when a thermometer is inserted as it is written here into the fluid, the fluid that is A and the glass wall which is the B will attain thermal equilibrium that is both will attain the same temperature till then the heat will flow from A to B this we already know. Then from B to C again the heat will flow from the bulb the heat will flow to the C which is the mercury. So, the glass wall B and the mercury C will attain the same temperature that we say it as thermal equilibrium. So, A and B are in thermal equilibrium equilibrium and B and C are in thermal equilibrium that is uh, the liquid and the bulb and then the bulb and the mercury are in thermal equilibrium. This states that both A and C are in thermal equilibrium. If A and B and B and C are in thermal equilibrium, then A and C are in thermal equilibrium that is the temperature of the fluid and the temperature of the mercury which is C will be the same that is both will be the same temperature which we call it with the uh, I mean term called as thermal equilibrium. So, the temperature of the mercury will be the same as that of the fluid which is A and so which will help you to 
find out what is the temperature of the fluid and this is called a zeroth law of ther thermodynamics which is the principle of working of thermometer right now we will move on to the difference in the, te uh, the thermometric liquid that is used so we know that this is alcohol the red color liquid which is used in thermometer as thermometric liquid and sometimes the silvery white metal which is mercury the only liquid metal which is at liquid state at room temperature is a good conductor of heat is another thermometric liquid which is also used to measure higher temperature so the, here it is mercury thermometer and here what you see in red color liquid is alcohol which is actually colored right we will learn the advantages of using mercury as a thermometric liquid so mercury will not stick to the glass it will not stick to the glass so it will enable us to read the temp temperature more accurately it is opaque that is it will not allow light to pass through like water it is not like water it is you cannot uh, i mean the light will not pass through it so it will be shiny and so the reading will be easily visible to us so we will read the temperature correctly and the expansion is uniform that is it will expand at equal amount for every degree rise in temperature in equal length there will be a uniform expansion at all temperatures unlike other liquids and it has a very low freezing point of minus 39 degrees celsius and a very high boiling point of 357 degrees celsius easily you can remember just skip one after three skip four write five and then six uh, you skip and then write seven so it has a very high boiling point that is it will not get converted into vapors very easily only at 357 degree uh, celsius mercury will become vapor till then it will remain as liquid and so which will enable us to measure the temperature the higher temperature also and that is why we use mercury in thermometers to measure temperature and it is easily available in pure state without any impurities and as i told you it will not become vapor non volatile means it will not get converted into vapor only at a higher temperature of about 357 degree celsius it will get converted into vapor so hence vapors are not formed in the empty part of the thermometric tube so which will affect the uh, measurement of temperature so these are the important points that you have to remember which are the properties of mercury which enable us to use it as a thermometric liquid that is the liquid used in the thermometer that is it will not stick to the glass and it is opaque and shiny it expands uniformly it has a very low freezing point it has a high boiling point of 357 degrees celsius and it is a non volatile substance since vapors will not be formed on the empty part of thermometric tube whereas alcohol if you just take it expands six times more than that of mercury it expands evenly and it is mainly used to measure very low temperatures and because it has a very low freezing point usually uh, it is uh, used to measure a very low temperature it is very safe and cheap unlike mercury but we cannot use alcohol uh, for measuring higher temperatures it can only be used for measuring lower temperatures you can easily color them it is dyed actually you can use easily color them it is actually colored already so it is sometimes not be very uh, useful to use and it wets the tube it will stick to the tube it does not respond quickly with temperature and a very low boiling point so cannot be used in hot places so these are the disadvantages which is actually not given in the book it is enough if you learn the advantages it expands evenly and it is has a very low freezing point so it can be used for measuring very low temperatures it is safe and cheap so these are the properties of alcohol which enable us to use it in the thermometer so just learn these advantages of using mercury as a thermometric liquid this is a detailed answer which you can expect for the exam thank you hope you followed